What is going on with the price of Bitcoin? A lot of people seem to be very confused. They're thinking, there's a lot of people that are thinking that the 19 day streak that we had of Bitcoin inflows from these institutions, for these ETF institutions, has just ended with a $65 million outflow. Is that a big deal? No. That's not a big deal at all. It has nothing to do with why Bitcoin has dropped the way it did. As I've been saying over and over again on these videos that I do, I talk about open interest and what open interest is. Essentially, it's what you do, what, what you call uh, leverage. So leverage in the system. So for instance, if some, it's people borrowing money that they don't have to bet on the price of Bitcoin that either it's gonna go up or down. A lot of people were betting that the price was gonna go up with lever with borrowed money, right? And so whales can see this. And what have they done? I've been warning people, especially on learningcrypto.com. If you're not a member, I would definitely recommend you checking out because I warned you guys several times uh, over the past couple of days that, hey, we could uh, we could very well experience a drop into the $66,000 level or $67,000 level or mid $60,000. But here's the thing, I don't think that we are going to be dropping too much on this one. And there's a reason for this, because there's a ton of buyers, there's a lot of buyers in the $65,000 range and under, <clears throat> especially 64, 63, $62,000 level. There's so many buyers and whales can see this. They can see the bids that are placed by people that wanna buy cheaper Bitcoin. So why would whales give these people the opportunity to go ahead and do that? Especially now that we are, uh, we're like 90 something days into this uh, crabbing along for Bitcoin price, right? So I don't think that they're gonna give them a chance. I think these traders are going to be front run and they're gonna be left empty handed when we absolutely skyrocket off this price. But in the meantime, the link is below for open interest so you can check out what open interest is doing. So check it out, explore yourself and let me know in the comments what you think right now. Um, all right, so now we have Apple. And if you are part of our learningcrypto.com member, you will know that one of our biggest holdings are AI holdings, right? Other than Bitcoin and Ethereum, Bitcoin obviously takes up the biggest part of our portfolio, but we went huge on AI coins. Now, Apple officially announced a partnership with OpenAI and will integrate uh, ChatGPT into the iPhone. <sighs> Interesting because Elon Musk fired back. He says, Apple, if Apple integrates OpenAI at the OS level, then the Apple devices will be banned at my companies. That's an unacceptable security violation and visitors will have to check their Apple, their Apple devices at the door and they will be stored in a Faraday cage. So in other words, like it's a, it's, it's a little box where there's no frequencies that, that, are, that can come out or in. So he's pretty much worried that this app, the Apple device, which is already a spy device, is going to turn into more of a spy device. Okay, sure buddy. But here's the kicker here that Elon Musk you know, I, I saw a tweet uh, saying, okay, let me get this straight, that there was, would you buy a Tesla phone? And that would be um, X streaming and it would include Starlink as well. So in other words, you'd have internet all the time. Elon Musk, just 18 or like 20 something hours ago, he said um, he shut down, he shuts down uh, smartphone rumors. We are not going to do a Tesla iPhone or a Tesla phone. So I don't know, what do you think down below? Do you think he's like getting people ready for a Tesla phone? Because you never know what this guy's gonna do. He's pretty uh, surprising sometimes. All right, so now we have Bitcoin balance on exchanges. So that's, this is a huge one, guys. Like Bitcoin balance right now, it just hit an all time low which is really good if you want the price to go up, right? So, you know, if the, if the supply is low and the demand is high, what happens to the price? It goes up. So check out this graph right now. The yellow line is the Bitcoin price and the green line is the Bitcoin balance. So pretty interesting. As you can see, as the price has been rising, Bitcoin um, has been dropping in terms of supply on exchanges. 
And also Ethereum has hit an eight year low as well on exchanges. So yeah, guys, like I, I don't know what to say, but I'm really bullish here. I, I mean, yeah, we experienced a drop from 72,000 to 67,000 right now. Who cares? Guys, this is nothing. I think we are on our way to all time highs very, very soon. To end this video, uh, we have a 99.4% chance of no change the intro, uh, for interest rates. And this will be during the June 12th meeting. Um, obviously, I, if, you, if you know me, if you've been listening to me for a while now, you know that I don't give a crap about what they have to say at the FOMC meetings. I don't care because I know that they're printing tons and tons of currency. I sound like a broken record sometimes, but that is exactly what is happening. That's all I have. Please like and subscribe. And if you want to see me uh, on Twitter, I'm active daily there at Sir Crypto Tips. Talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.